My name is Tayen, and I went to Oshkosh this year. This was my third year going to Oshkosh, and Oshkosh is a place where memories are made and new friendships begin. Two weeks ago was how long I went, and I enjoyed my time a lot. I saw so many different things from planes, aircraft, and people, and just had so much fun. Oshkosh, we will miss you, but let me tell you why. I really enjoyed camping with everyone. We were able to cook such amazing meals every single night and just had steak and brats and chicken. I loved heading out to the ultralight section where we were able to watch the stole competition. That was really cool and the sunset was super pretty. Going to just walk around and look at all the sorts of aircraft, eat an ice cream cone or head out to the flight line. You just look at all the arrivals coming in, that was a lot of the time that I just really loved and I felt so at peace and you were able to see so many sorts of different things, even like the two plane incidents that happened which was very unfortunate. What I thought was awesome is you would just be sitting there doing your day-to-day -day things and some sort of plane would fly over top of you from the ultralights to the F-16s that would fly over during the day and it was just so amazing and awesome and it was just such a cool experience. There were so many things to do during the day from the air show from 2.30 to 6 and the night air show they had Thursday and Saturday night and then just getting to see the Aeroshell aerobatic team go above and just sit there and watch all of the planes come in as they would do the nighttime show. Why I think you should come next year for Oshkosh 2022 Bring a bike, bring a scooter, come for a day, come for a couple days, come for the whole time, but experience it. Experience the greatness and the vastness of this big air show and all what you can see, all what you can do, and you will be amazed at how awesome this show is. The best thing is there is something for all ages, so you can't say, oh, that won't work for me, because it will. To get to know what other people think, I set up an interview time, so enjoy. Hey Harley, so while we are ending Oshkosh, what was your favorite part or things to do while being in the air show? Looking at the helicopters and if I had a friend here, I would show her at the Kid Adventure and the helicopters. That sounds pretty cool. Are you going to miss Oshkosh? Yes. Okay, say bye. Bye. What was your favorite part or experiences during this Oshkosh that if you brought someone, you would like them to know? All the warbirds, and I'd like them to know is that the warbirds are amazing and that you probably think it's just a tiny air show. It's bigger than you think. It's six miles of fun. What's your favorite part about Oshkosh? So my favorite part of Oshkosh is just getting to see and experience everything. There's so much vendors and planes and people here that it's just amazing just to see everything. And just experience the plane to helicopter rides to the air show. You just meet so much amazing people and just get to see everything. And if you could bring one friend, what would that one friend be? Um, if I brought a friend, I would just love to go everywhere and see everything and camping here at Camp Schaller. It's just amazing. What was your favorite part about Oshkosh? Oh man, um, I love seeing the F-14s, F-16s, whatever they are, whatever they are flying by. And then just the camping experience in all parts of the show. If you had to bring another person to here, what would you recommend? Oh gosh, there's so many things to see. I think you just have to start start with one thing and, and just continue on to the next. Uh-huh. So, until then, what do you say to for Oshkosh? Oh man, Oshkosh 2022. <laughs> <laughs> so, hi Aunt Lacey. So, today I'm asking you, what is your favorite part about Oshkosh? My favorite part about Oshkosh is that every year I can come to this one place and I can see all of my friends that I've met in my aviation career and in my flying that I do for fun and they're all here in one place and we can run into each other and it feels like a big giant family reunion. That's perfect. Now if you were to bring someone new that hasn't been to Oshkosh, what would you recommend? I would recommend that they figure out what they want to see and they write it down and they make a plan and every day 
they strategically go to those places because Oshkosh is so big. I've been here for 10 days and there are things that I still haven't been able to get to. That's great. Now, until then. What do I say? Oshkosh 2021. Oshkosh 2022. <laughs> Favorite part about Oshkosh and what do you enjoy doing here? It's, it's hard, it is hard to point to one thing. Uh, a, a big one uh, would be just the friends you make over the years, including your granddad. Uh -huh. he's, a, he's a great guy and uh, a bit of a BSer like me, if I can say that <laughs> on YouTube. But my favorite thing this year was uh, I won uh, two tickets on the Ford Tri Motor from Ford Motor Company. Oh. Uh, the second time in five years I've, I've been lucky to do that. That's amazing. Uh, and uh, my wife and I took the first trip up when I won them, and she had to leave unexpectedly for some medical situation in, in her side of the family. And so I had these two tickets, and uh, my brother uh, had came down yesterday, and we went up early to fly on the tri-motor, and they had a low ceiling and couldn't fly. So I couldn't use them yesterday. Yesterday was... Uh, the birthday of another good friend I've met up here at Oshkosh that lives uh, 10 states away. This is the only time we see him and he has an 11 year old grandson uh, whose birthday was yesterday. I mean, I said that already, but it was his birthday yesterday. So I asked uh, his parents last uh, evening if he would uh, probably like to go up in a Ford Trimotor. Oh. And they, they said he absolutely would. Uh, so they asked his son if he would and he said he would and uh, his, his smile as that plane was taxiing out was, was priceless. That's awesome. Uh, it, it was a great experience. It's been a great year but just the friends you meet up here, it's, it's as much about that as the planes and I mean the whole thing is sensory overload. So, <laughs> yep. It's just great. It's uh, something you can't explain to people that haven't been here. For sure. So until then, Oshkosh. <laughs> what do you like about Oshkosh this year? And what do you like to do? Well, the big thing about Oshkosh is just like the history, you know, all the aircraft. Um, obviously with the air show, with all the uh, performance aircraft and stuff like that. Um, and then it's just like the friendship and just time spending with family and friends. Mm -hmm. um, and then just being on different adventures and uh, just seeing like all the new things that are being developed. Uh -huh. um, just like engineering, you know, um, you know what goes into some of these aircraft, um, and then just you know talking to all these you know innovators and uh, just experiencing a lot of things that you just you'll, you'll never see. Uh huh. And so, if you had to bring someone that's never been to Oshkosh, like what would you tell them or help them with? Well, like anybody, like if it's into aviation or hasn't seen an air show. This is definitely like the biggest air show with like thousands of airplanes and just acres and acres. Um, there's just there's just so much to see. And you can, like, like I always tell everybody, you can spend an entire week here and you're not going to see everything. Uh-huh. So until then... Who's, who's doing what? So what would be your favorite part about coming to Oshkosh? All the jets and warbirds running around making noise. All the explosions. Awesome. <laughs> and what would you say to someone that's never been to Oshkosh before? What would you tell them to experience or just look forward to? It's one of the best experiences out there right now. There's so much stuff to do around here. A lot of people to meet. Uh, and you get to hang out with your friends. <laughs> so until then... Oshkosh 2022. 20, <laughs> so welcome to Oshkosh. So this was your first time. So what was your favorite part about the whole experience? Yeah, my favorite part was being able to fly. Uh, we actually took the paramotors up. Um, and so I got to say I was a part of the biggest air show in the world. So that was fantastic. That's awesome. Now, if you had to bring another person that hasn't been to Oshkosh before, what would you recommend them? Um, so this, like you said, this was my first experience. Uh, and quite frankly, it wouldn't have been possible. It wouldn't have, it wouldn't have been as enjoyable um, had I not had a bunch of people that I went with. Mm -hmm. um, so I was fortunate to have great friends who have been here a time or two. Uh, I definitely kind of listened to them, heeded their advice. There was a lot of things that I definitely would change um, as far as next year comes. Uh -huh. um, looking forward to that. But 
definitely, if you have someone who's a seasoned vet, someone who would give you a little advice here or there, uh, make sure you, you kind of listen to them. Uh, there's, there's too much to see. Uh, we've been here all week and we still didn't get everything in. So there's definitely some courses and classes that I'll be taking next time. For sure. To this year around, so. But until then. Oshkosh 2022. <laughs> So hi Papa what would be your most favorite experiences slash things to do. Well I believe my favorite uh, things to do are to research different products and vendors that I might need for my airplanes. Uh-huh. And so if you were to bring someone to Oshkosh, what would you recommend to them? I would recommend to them to seek out uh, what they want to see. If they want to research products, if they want to just see airplanes, uh -huh. I have a plan because it's so humongous. It's five to seven miles long. For sure. So take uh, take your time and research what you want to see and go see that, and then in the meantime see some other things. Uh huh. But until then, Oshkosh 22. <laughs>